Uh, how do I know him? Well, we grew up together, all the way from kindergarten, uh, all the way through high school. Uh, we grew up in a very small town, uh, so not a lot of recreational activities to be had, so we just played cowboys and Indians and the woods behind my house and, you know, tree forts <coughs> and all that. Uh, I was really the only friend he had. Uh, not a lot of people really understood him, but I did. And, uh, you know, he was kind of out there, so it's really eccentric. And he, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, he really loved nature. Really loved nature. Really. I really love nature. A lot. Exactly what I'm talking about. See that? That was that's Jeremiah. And Jeremiah was just saying how he used to have a lot of friends, and his mother and father were right in this area. Look at this, look at this, look at this shit. It's all clearing, it's all cleared out, and all these all these all these stupid branches that people like to cut down. And all of his friends were right in here, and now it's all cleared, it's all clear, it's all clearing. It needs to be thick. It. It's supposed to be thick. He was thick. I'm sorry, Jeremiah. I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do about it. But, the, but they won't let me come in here with seeds and plant all around again. It's just not going to happen. See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's people. Standing right over there. Right over there, there's people. There's people. And what are they doing? What what are they doing? They're disturbing the peace. The trees don't appreciate that. Jeremiah can see them. He said, he said, watch out. There's people walking by right now. You better be careful. And they're disturbing the peace. He doesn't like it. None of them do. They don't like it. Fucking bullshit. And this too, oh my god, what? Again, again, oh my god, again. They tear it all up, it's all dirt, and they tear it all up and there's weeds growing. And look, this is exactly my point. See this, this right here, and it's uprooted. It's uprooted because there was a tree here. There was a beautiful, beautiful tree that didn't even have time to get to maturity. 
and you would have been fine. If they dig it all up, and it's all dirt, and it would have been thicket. Thicket, for God's sakes. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry, honey. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. There's got to be a way that we can we can stand them upright, stand them upright, and put them back in. Well, can you get your guys to help me or not? We can stand it back up and put it back in. Do I think he's gay? <laughs> um, not that I've noticed. I don't think he's gay. Um, he's not dated any guys since I've known him, but he's had a couple girlfriends. Yeah. Um, I mean, true. I mean, honestly, he he's loved trees more than he's loved any girl or anybody for that matter. Have I had a girlfriend? <coughs> well, that's seems like kind of a weird question. To, I mean, is, that's not what this is all about, is it? Um. Yeah, yeah. You know, I have. I've had. Uh, I've had a few. Um, over the years. I mean, I've dated. But. You know, I know what you're getting at, and. You know, I'm out here and I'm one with this and, you know, you take Stanley here. This is Stanley. I figured that out since I sat on him and, you know, he doesn't have a gender. When you spend enough time in nature, you realize that there is no male and female. There is no, there is no... gender or, you know, penis and vagina or anything of the sort, you know? It's all equal and one and the same. But as a human being, you know, of course I've had my fair share. But that's not the way the world really works. Just ask these guys. Honestly, I think he does it because he he feels like he owes something to the world. Um, I don't know what you guys have heard or what he's told you, but we've had we've had some pretty deep conversations about it. And um, <clears throat> what I got out of it is that he feels insignificant to nature and the world around him, and he and he feels like he is in so much debt to it and I don't I don't know there's nothing tragic happened you know did you get it that's the second deer today totally missed it totally gone Damn it. shit well let's say hi to some of my friends I'll introduce you Oh my god, it's George. George! Hey, George. Hey! How are you doing? Oh. 
It's been a while. What has it been since last summer? Oh. Oh, George. Oh, Georgie, Georgie, Georgie boy. Oh. How you doing? Everybody, this is George. Long friend, one of my very first friends. Oh, you Jesus. Oh, you poor thing. Oh. Where's Timothy? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> we couldn't move, can he? Timothy. Timothy. There's Timothy. There he is. There he is. Okay, this is Timothy. This is Timothy. Him and George have conversations all the time. Right across, they have a clear shot of each other. They're always talking to each other all the time. They have really good conversations. And then sometimes I've got my spot right in the center. And we have a three way. Timothy, George, and Timothy's brother is right over here. This is Treadwell. So that's Timothy, and that's Treadwell. Timothy's brother Treadwell. They're a good bunch of guys. They are a good bunch of guys. And actually what I realized is Treadwell has a child. Treadwell's root system, I know for a fact, comes from here to here. And he gave birth to this little guy. Treadwell, did you ever name him? Leo, okay, okay. Because last summer you didn't, all right, okay. Well, that's good, that's a good choice, it's a good name, I like it, that's very nice. Okay, all right. Hi, Amy. That's Amy. We used to date a little while ago. Didn't end very well. Hello, Amy. Hi. Well, I know that me and Amy had a little bit of a hardship, so I'm gonna give her this and see if we can make up for it. So, it's worth a try. Alright, Amy, I know that we had a hard time a little while ago, and um, it didn't end well or anything like that, but I just hope that, you know, that we could that bygones be bygones. There's under the water, right? So I just wanted to give you these. Hopefully, gonna be fine. Oh! Oh! What the? What the fuck? Oh! Jesus, Amy!
stop it. Get stop it. Just fucking go. one on top of another, just fucking snacking all this stuff on top of me. I'm sick and tired of it. I can't stand it. I got, I got all these, all these stupid pricks to deal with. The disruption of the peace, and then I got her. It's like she doesn't even care. She doesn't even know, she doesn't even understand what I'm here for. Well, at least I've got the boys. They get it, they understand. They're not gonna turn their backs on me. I'm like, fucking Amy. Fuck. She's got fucking little, little leaves growing out of her anyway. You know what that is? You know what that is in the nature world? She's like covered in fucking acne. I'm trying to do something here. You're disturbing the peace. You see the trees all come here. Come here. No. Come here. I see you. Come no, here. No, we're running. We're running. Excuse so us. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You're disturbing the peace. Get the fuck out of here. Don't piss the fucking trees off. Are Get the fuck serious? out. Yes, I'm dead serious. Serious. God, serious. God, stupid bitches. Get the fuck out of here. Just that's it. See? It's just another thing. Another thing. Again. Again on top of everything else. Okay, fun stuff, good stuff, good stuff, just good stuff, good stuff. All right. Well, here I am. I found the stump and uh, doing everything in my power to, you know, make people aware and make people know that this is what's happening to our world. This is what's happening. You know what? And that, exactly. So, you know, so fuck them. So fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Sick and tired of these stupid assholes, these fucking stupid pieces of shit coming in here, taking down trees when they shouldn't be. Fuck them, fuck them. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Fun stuff, nice, nice things, nice things. I'm coming out here, I'm coming out here, and, and you see anybody else doing anything about it? No, you don't, you just see me, you just see me doing stuff about it, so fuck them. That's right. Stupid pieces of shit. Stupid motherfuckers. Fuck them. Fuck you. All these trees, you see, you see what's happening? All these trees fucking, they're... All these trees getting leprosy. All these trees got, got, their, got their fucking whooping cough. You know? And, and they're all dying. These fucking immigrants fucking coming over here. Columbus. Columbus. Christopher. Christopher Columbus Espinoza, the you know, coming over here back in 14, 1445, fucking coming in here and and spreading all this disease and all this whooping cough and all this leprosy on all these trees. Freaking pouring out all their queso supreme all over them and and they're just dying and that's all that's happening. And you know, you know, so so fuck them founding fathers, fucking stupid pieces of shit. Fuck them. Fuck you. I win. I win. Yeah, I remember that day um, very clearly. Uh, I got a call from the hospital. I was his emergency contact, and um, apparently he had died on his way to the hospital, but um, just lost too much blood. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning, and I've, I'm woken up. 
chainsaws. I think it's chainsaws. I'm hearing chainsaws. Bastards are coming in. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're gonna cut down. They're gonna cut down Jeremy. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Alright. Hey! No, no, I don't blame the city workers. They're just doing his their job and um you know, Tony, he just got in the way of himself, you know. Um, he, his personality, his drive to save the trees, just, I mean, eventually, you know. Which is appropriate because he's kind of a martyr. You know, he sacrificed himself for what he's been taking care of for the last 13 years. What are you doing? You do aside. not need to be here to cut down these trees. Sir, don't step aside. That seems to happen. No, you, no. Do not cut down these trees. Do not cut down these trees. Sir, step aside. 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 Step